Well, Luigi Pirandello is uh, uh, one of the foremost uh, dramatists of the modern and contemporary drama. He was a man of enormous generosity of spirit, enormous sense of humor, uh, very good appetite. A dead playwright who is very much alive, and I guess always will be, and is very central to uh, the theater and I guess the world. Uh, the make-believe world and the real world. Don't be frightened. I'm here. But what will you do? What I've always done from the first day you taught me, I had only one other choice. I taught you that? Yes, you. What other choice? to kill you. Don't you think that more than once you've given me every reason to? Oh, yes, Celia, you know I'm right. But this impulse sprang fully armed from a feeling I had for you. A feeling first of love, and then of hatred. To save you, I had to disarm these two powerful emotions. To get rid of them. And I did get rid of them. So I wouldn't have to kill you. So you could live. Not as you would like, because you haven't any idea what you want from life, but the only way you can, the only way you must, since you can never do as I do. What do you do, Leone? I abstract myself. Six Character is a play about the theater. I think it's probably the most deepest and truthful and, and diggingest play about the theater that ever was. Harold Thurman wrote a whole book about theater called, about acting called Lies Like Truth. And Six Characters is a play that explains or, or exemplifies or personifies or acts out the fact that acting is making, making lies like truth. He actually changed the whole course of what you'd call modern drama with his, uh, his play called uh, uh, Six Characters in Search of an Author. It's very simple if you'll just try to understand. You were born a man, right? Okay. But one can be born in other ways, as a tree, a stone, a stream, a butterfly, or as characters in a play. Oh. You mean you and your friends here were born as characters? Now you've got it. Alive as you see us in front of you. <laughs> I wish you wouldn't laugh at us. We carry such suffering and horror within us. This woman, as you can see, is dressed in mourning. Now that's it, that's more than enough. Larry, get them out of yes, here. Yes, yeah, uh, please, sir, you must go right now. You must believe us. I've told you, I'm in rehearsal. Write me a letter. Sir. I know it's difficult. I know it's difficult. But surely, in your profession, you're accustomed to seeing the characters created by an author spring to life in yourselves all the time. Is it because there's no script that contains us? Is that why you won't believe? We're six very interesting characters, but lost somehow. But you see, the author who created us was never able to finish his script. Oh, that's a crime. Because anyone fortunate enough to be born a character in a completed play can laugh at death. Yes. A man must die. An author must die. But a character lives forever. And without having to be anybody special. Who's Sancho Panza? Huh? The Three Musketeers. Yet they will live forever. Because like seeds that fall in rich soil, they were fortunate. They found a 
fertile fantasy, which raised them, nourished them, and gave them eternal life. But now what are you trying to say? We want to live. <laughs> oh, you want to live through all eternity, huh? No, no. Only for a moment in you. I don't think he ever surpassed what he had done in six characters uh, in search of an author. But they were there, and they were uh, still of the same type, of things like illusion and reality and uh, a whole existential view of what uh, life is. Do we really know what the senses tell us? Is it true what we see? Is that the truth? Or is, uh, is it all, all things are relative? Mr. Salter. Um, really? My wife and I won't waste any more of your time. Thank you. But I haven't yet explained the reason for my visit. Well, I've brought your real wife with me. I found her in a sanitarium in Trieste. She'd been there ever since the war. Her mind is uh, somewhat more shattered than yours. So her doctor is attending her. Whatever nonsense you're talking, I'm not in the least interested. Now get out. It isn't as simple as all that. There are proofs beyond any question. Proofs? What are you talking about? Bruno, why don't you let him show you this woman? I admire your courage. Doctor. This is Dr. Reinhardt from Vienna. He attended Countess Varelli for some time. A very unfortunate case of amnesia. We've had so many of them since the war. Okay, let's get this over. Where is this, this woman? Signoria, ma che stiamo scherzando? Se avessi messo solo il mastice, il mio mastice, a quest'ora non mi troverei qua dentro. E qui dentro ci faccio i vento. Questo l'avvocato non l'aveva previsto. C'è! <ride> Mi volete male dunque! Ma mai quanto ve ne voglio io! Neanche lo immaginate! Me ne manca la fantasia! Togliete lo suono, mettete davanti lo stavo! E tirate giù quel bordacchino! Di corso! Che soffrirai in galera! Volevi incominciare nella mia già, eh? E io ti denuncio! Sì, io ti denuncio per un colgio al cucino! Vuoi stare lì dentro? E sta, sta! Creperai di fame! Queste mangerò io e mangerete voi. Andate a comprare quello che occorre.